Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where I'm covering Action Comics 176, Muscles for Money, where Superman wants to be paid for his services, which he's not wrong about, though the whole idea of being a superhero, and especially Superman, is self-sacrifice, so he shouldn't want money, because action is his reward. Okay, that's Spider-Man, and Superman's real reward is seeing the happiness and the goodwill he has done for people. He essentially pays it forward inspiring people to be better versions of themselves. Also, him wanting money, which once again I say is fair, he's just being a massive dick about it. Uh, which is not very Superman, but very 50 Superman. Who is a dick. And an asshole. What? As we know, because we've had many stories where Superman has acted differently, only for it to turn out to be a really convoluted plan for him to trick some sort of criminal he's for some reason having trouble catching to reveal themselves or to come out a, a false sense of security in this case. It's intriguing enough to follow through the entire story, but what's happening in the story isn't, isn't particularly all that interesting. I feel like I say interesting way too often in these videos. He's doing odd jobs that adds the action to the story for rich people who I don't care about. We don't spend much time on any of these jobs. He finishes them fairly quickly and just kind of goes to another one. Any sort of story is filled up in this with Lois complaining about how Superman is acting and utterly disgusted by him, which is more of an interesting take on Lois than what has happened, but this all is really coming down to her love for Superman and being utterly shocked by his behavior. That's still not a great characterization of Lois. I miss the cold-hearted Lois who would have not cared, or she would have gone after him at this time. Like, she would have been shocked, but she would have been writing the articles that are anti-Superman, which Clark is doing, which is another sign that something is wrong. And of course something is wrong. Really his whole plan here is he puts all the money in some sort of mountain vault he builds that doesn't seem very impenetrable. It seems pretty penetrable if you have some dynamite. So some sort of criminal comes out at the end to get the money thinking Superman would never do something like this to set up a trap because Superman's not going to, you know, act badly. Stupid on him to think Superman is beyond this. Little did he know he was dealing with the 50s dick Superman. This is also just a really bad way of dealing with the villain. As you imagine, it's more telling, not showing. In fact, we don't really even talk about this villain, and this happens almost every time they kind of do a story like this. Nothing about the villain comes up until they just show up at the end. This one has like one panel of them showing up at the end, maybe two, where Superman stops him. It's not a very satisfying way to end the story if I know nothing about who he was trying to stop. The story was too busy focused on the shocking events that they forgot to actually tell a story or deal with the twist all that much. If the villain exists, have him exist throughout the story so you build up him being taken down. He doesn't have to be the direct antagonist in a story like this, but he has to be some sort of problem for Metropolis. And once again, we end with Lois just being utterly, utterly in love with Superman as she knows that he, he would have never have done this on purpose. And her faith has been confirmed. So it's really a story about belief. Though she didn't believe him the whole time. I am really craving some sort of just anything that has some sort of satisfying ending. You set it up, you build it up, then you deal with it. It's a very simple structure, but they don't care about the structure. They care about either surprising you in some strange way, but it's not even a surprise because they've done this story like four or five times. That's probably low. It's maybe more than that. Or just giving you action sequences with Superman with very little story to go along with that action. One of the only positive things I can really say about this issue is, well, at least it's somewhat different. Okay, that is it from Action Comics 176. Muscles for money. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Fridays is Bat Friday, where I cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the man of tomorrow? And what's really annoying about this story
really annoying is he gives back all the money to the rich people instead of giving it to charity or saving it from when he needs it again, which used to happen a lot more often in the earlier stories. He didn't take money from rich people, but he needed a lot of money to help people. Use the money to help people. Also, let's not forget this is the Superman who refused to take money from the U.S. government that the U.S. government owed his family for over 200 years. Well, about 150 years. But he wouldn't take it because he loves this country so much. So, of course, it wasn't going to turn out that he really wanted money. Okay, have a great day.